We begin now as Washington State Republicans say they will review the controversial actions of Spokane Valley Representative Matt Shea, but it will not happen until after the current legislative session is over. Shea has been taking heat since the Guardian newspaper revealed he was part of a group chat that suggested surveillance of and even violence against progressive activists. He's accused of offering to perform background checks on certain political enemies. The article resulted in widespread condemnation of Shea from Democrats as well as some members of his own party. Today, the House Republican leader announced the party will conduct some kind of review of his actions. It's still unclear exactly what that means, though. Tonight, political reporter Casey Decker breaks down a number of options for state GOP leaders. The first option, the one being called for by folks like Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib, is expulsion from the Republican caucus. That basically means that Shea won't be allowed in party meetings. It would severely cripple his influence and ability to shape laws. But he'd retain his seat and the powers that come with it, like voting and proposing legislation. Caucus expulsion isn't new. You might remember the GOP temporarily booted Senator Pam Roach from the caucus back in 2010. That one was for being abusive towards staff and colleagues. A less extreme option the party could take? removing his committee postings. They already took away Shea's spot as the party's caucus chair earlier this year following a whole different controversy. Taking him off of committees could further weaken his power. That's something Democrats did to Representative David Sawyer after he was accused of creating a hostile work environment. Another option, censure by the full house. That's basically just the representatives voting to formally condemn Shea. That's happened before too, according to the National Conference of State Legislatures. In 1985, a House member was censured for campaign violations. Along the same lines, there's something called the Legislative Ethics Board that can reprimand and fine lawmakers for unethical behavior. That happens occasionally, most recently to Representative Jesse Young for improper use of state resources. The most extreme option, outright expulsion from the House. The state constitution says a member can get kicked out if two thirds of all members vote to expel. And it's happened at least once before per the NCSL. If Shea got expelled, a Republican replacement would be appointed by county commissioners until the next election. Finally, the voters could step in. A recall election could be held if a petition gets 35% of district voter signatures. Now, for almost any of these to happen, an actual investigation of some sort will likely have to take place. The State House does have formal investigation procedures. We'll likely learn if those get launched after the session ends. That's scheduled to be this coming Sunday. Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.